Okay, now I'm good. When I say y'all can take your own pictures, y'all can take your own pictures. And that damn camera wasn't recording. Period. Poo. Hey citizens, what it do? Baby boo, it's your girl sitting in the city and I'm back. I know, I look crazy, right? So, I'm freshly showered, freshly facialed, um, and I'm getting ready to do my makeup and get dressed to go take content pictures. So, I decided to take you guys along with me on how I take my own pictures literally a lot of the pictures that I post on social media or on my thumbnails are pictures that I take by myself so yeah I'm currently about to straighten my wig so last night I washed it and conditioned it and so it just air dried over here so it's a little wavy but I'm gonna straighten it back into its cute little bob style I have my makeup set up going on over here so I'm about to sit down and do my makeup over here and I'm going to show you guys the outfit that I'm considering wearing. Sorry the lighting is weird in my room. There we go. So my grandmother bought me this super super cute like patch, I don't even know what to call this, trench coat. And so I thought I could style this up with either um, the vinyl skirt and a white bodysuit that I got from Pretty Little Things. If you guys watched my clothing haul, this skirt was included in that. And this white bodysuit here. Or I was going to wear this cute high neck dress with um, that I got from Rainbow underneath the coat with my stockings. Oh, my gloves fell. And um, some cute leather gloves. Um, so yeah, and some booties. Um, some cute black booties so that's like the vibe I'm going for you know really trying to start styling myself up a little bit more and just showing like you know my versatility when it comes to the way I like to dress so yeah so I'm gonna take you guys along with me I'm trying to decide where I want to take pictures um if I'm gonna go downtown if I'm gonna go to a parking lot I really want to do like a cute parking lot pick so I'm thinking about going up to um there's a parking lot up Silver Spring, which is like a shopping area, downtown Silver Spring. And I'm going to go to like the top level so I can get all the natural lighting. And I'm going to take my tripod and my remote, my Bluetooth remote. Um, that's how I be taking my pictures. And all the equipment that I use, I will link below. It is in my Amazon store, so check it out. But yeah, I'm just going to start getting ready because I want to be um, on my way to take pictures no later than like 2.30. So I'll have like an hour or almost two, two hours to get ready. Um, but yeah. Just want to take you guys on my little journey, but before I start getting ready and showing you guys how I get myself done up, make sure you guys become model citizens and hit that subscribe button for me below, like and comment on this video. And yeah, come join my city. It's lit over here. We slay all day. We like to have fun in the city and we just like to live a beautiful baddie on a budget life. And that's what I'm about over here in the city. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so your girl some support and please 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 like my video so that other people can find my content i would super super appreciate it but yeah let's get into this video Hey, we did 
did the most. most. Yeah, pull up and ghost. Woo. Yeah, my diamonds are choker. Holding up, I with no holster. Bah. Read the ruler, diamond cooler. Cooler. This a roller, not a mula. Hey. Dabbing on them like the usual. Dab. Magic with the brick. Hey, citizens. Oh, focus, focus. Focus, dude, focus. Focus, dude. Dude. Oh. oh, he lives. Hey, dude. There we go. Hey, citizens. So I'm back. Um, I'm all done up. Makeup's done. I don't have a lip on yet because I'm about to put a mask on. But I'm hurrying because the sun's still up. And I want to get to the little location. I want to take pictures at. Hopefully, you know, it's not a lot of people there. Um, but I've already packed my bag. I uh, see got my bag here. So in there I have my tripod with my Bluetooth remote. That's how I take my pictures. I also changed my phone case to my mirror phone case because I normally take my pictures from um, the front camera so I can still see myself and kind of pose and kind of see what I'm looking like. I just bought this phone case because I had a new phone so I thought it'd be great for when I take my own pictures. Um, but I have on my coat, my dress. I decided to wear the high neck dress. Um, I need my bracelet my bracelet on real quick but yeah i'm about to head on out um, so that i can go catch these good old pictures um but yeah i just wanted to guys like just you know see that i'm ready um if you guys saw in the previous shots my microphone was plugged into my camera but it wasn't on so you couldn't hear what i was saying so i just sped it up so you guys can kind of see like me getting ready but i'm headed out um, I'm hopefully won't take long to get these pictures because it's super super cold this jacket is not that warm and I'm only going up the street to a parking lot so fingers crossed that I do not freeze to death but I'm wearing my gloves I have my sunglasses I have my mask my hand sanitizer I'm ready to go so I'll show you guys what everything looks like when we get there all right citizens I'm back your girl just walked up seven flights of steps to the top of this parking garage in Silver Spring, downtown Silver Spring. Um, but I'm glad I came here because literally there's no one here. There's like a few people across the parking lot and I think they're like smoking. So, do you while I do me. So I'm about to put my lip gloss on, catch my breath, set up my tripod, and catch the sun before the sun go down, okay? So, I decided to do my neutral lip because I tried a red lip in the house and I just wasn't feeling it. Like I said, well, you didn't get to hear me say, cause my microphone was locked up. Whew, trying to catch my breath. But red lips, I think I need to find a new red lip because they just don't do it for me anymore. Uh, I'm just about to, I was trying to, you know, get like a little fake subtle Valentine's Day look, but so now I have the whole upstairs to myself. Nobody's here. So I'm just about to get myself together. My hair came out a little bit better than I thought originally. But you know, freshly washed hair, sometimes it's hard to tame. And I think I need to get me like a serum or something for when I straighten my hair just to get it silky. I'm currently putting on my Fenty chocolate um, balm. I love this lip balm. This lip gloss, it's really cute. I think I'm gonna just wear this lip. I'm not gonna layer it today. Okay, maybe just a little bit. <laughs> oh gosh, it's not as cold as I thought it was gonna be because you know, we are preparing for snow here in DC. Well, the whole East Coast. It's like a snowstorm coming, like starting tomorrow. So today was either I get these pictures or I'm gonna be taking pictures in the snow because yeah, it's supposed to snow. So I'm wearing these booties. I got these from Boohoo like a few years ago. And I have my leather gloves and my Aldo purse. I'm gonna put my keys. Put my keys and my Metro card away. So I have my phone. Let's set this up on the tripod real quick. Yeah. I hope. camera a little bit so I decided to wear the dress like I showed you guys because I just wasn't feeling the other outfit I was gonna wear with this coat and I just wanted to kind of be basic I want the coat to be like the statement piece sorry if you guys can barely see me where I'm standing it's kind of shadowy so I have to like get up close <laughs> for you guys to see me so yeah I'm setting up so you can see the little mirror 
here or whatever. Let me tighten this up so my phone doesn't fall. And I charged my Bluetooth remote in the house, so I should be good to go. Let's push the phone up a little bit. So I'm setting up the tripod. I want to kind of get some like cute shots in my dress with the coat, you know, kind of showing off the dress a little bit. So I'm about to set this up real quick and then I'll show you, I'll set up you guys so you guys can see me. All right, y'all, I found a sunnier spot on the roof. So here's my fit. I wish I could lower you guys a little bit, but I'm gonna let you guys watch me take some photos over here. Hopefully you guys can see me. Baby, these flicks look so MF and fire, y'all. Fire. When I say y'all can take your own pictures, y'all can take your own pictures. They look so good. They look so good. I'm about to take some more, but they look good. And these is like the first round. Normally take about like three rounds, but they look so good, y'all. Oh my god. All this rushing and getting here by the sun, by a little golden hour, and look. <laughs> <laughs> the pictures look fire. I can't wait to drop them. I'm about to do a reel and everything. I'm about to do a little walk challenge. What? We about to be. I hope y'all can see me. I don't know if y'all can see me over here. Let me move the camera a little bit. I don't want it to fall off this little ledge. I got it up here on. See, and I thought I was going to have to call somebody to come take my pictures. But baby, I took my own pictures. I take my own pictures. Period. Poop. Sorry, y'all. I'm over here trying to do the walk challenge now. Let me turn y'all this way. I'm over here trying to fake walk or whatever. Whatever. Me your river give you a tissue. Spad and bush bad. Cooking up the way the oozy. My niggas are savage. Ruthless. We got thudders and hunter rounds too. My bitch. Spad and bush bad. Cooking up the way the oozy. My niggas are savage. Ruthless. We got thudders and hunter rounds too. All that fabulous ass walking. And that damn camera wasn't recording. I gotta hit the button a little harder. But it's good because my little stock is showing, so let's do it again. Alright, 
I'm I'm done walking, y'all. That that walk challenge is hard. That is hard as a mug. Let's look at these photos, though. These pictures look so good. I'm trying to decide if I want to take some more. And they look so off guard and just fabulous. Just make sure. Oh. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. I'm going to take some more, but I am happy. It's just my, it looks like a shadow. I might be able to erase it. My damn stockings keep showing. Damn. This is a good picture, too. The damn stocking and it's only on the left leg where it keeps showing okay i'm gonna take some more pictures because the stockings was not letting me be great like what but i'm gonna stop filming here and then when i get home i'll show you guys some of the pictures i took but they look good hey citizens okay so your girl's back in the house from taking her pictures and after i finished you know flicking it up and doing my little walk reel or whatever i went to chipotle got me some uh veggie bowl and i'm home um, but I just wanted to show you guys some of the pictures that I really, really liked. So when I take pictures, I normally take a lot of pictures. I like a lot of options because you just never know what could be wrong in the picture. Something can be showing, your bra, your hair could be sticking out funny. Like, especially when you take your own pictures, you just need to take a lot so that you can have options. Sorry about that. Um, so I took almost, let's see. I took a good, a good amount of pictures. I took at least 100 pictures today of myself. And that's not a lot. I could normally do more than that. But once I, I'm done, like, so here are the pictures. Once I'm done taking them, um, I go through them and I start to favorite the ones that I really, really like. Like, the ones that are just popping. The lighting's good. My face is good. Makeup looks good. Hair looks good. All that outfit, placement, everything. So... After I favorite them, after I go through and favorite them, then I get down to this many. So I have about 20 so pictures here that I really, really like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, look at them again, like in more depth to see like, okay, which ones do I really like? Like, is the lighting just popping here? Is the lighting not good, but the pose is good? Because sometimes the picture can look really good, but the lighting is just not looking good on my skin like i like my skin to be vibrant as you see right here like i look vibrant my skin has a nice glow to it but sometimes when you take your own pictures you're not catching the right lighting so i like to make sure i'm catching the right lighting especially when i'm taking pictures outside and i'm not using like a light or anything like that so i go through i look at hair i look at you know my face leg placement foot placement like am i you know showing out the outfit because my whole point was to really to show off the coat the coat was the, like I said earlier, was the statement piece of the outfit. So I wanted to make sure like I was showing off the coat, the belt, you know, just giving it a look here, there. You know, that's kind of why I wore sunglasses. Also, it was really sunny up there. So like I didn't want to be squinting because I don't really like to squint. That's why I wear sunglasses all the time, honestly, because I squint easy. The sun just irritates my eyes. So yeah, that's it. And then also once I'm done, like narrowing down the pictures that I like and I want to edit to post, um, I'm just going to name off the apps that I use to edit my pictures. So I edit my pictures. I use Facetune. I use it mostly to smooth out my skin a little bit and to whiten my background. If my background's white, I like to brighten it up and I whiten it. So that's normally what I use Facetune for and that's really it. Then I take it into Visco and Visco I use their, um... And that's V-S-C-O. I'll list all these apps for you all below so you guys can try them out. So I use Facetune. Then I then I then from Facetune, you can send the picture to the Visco app. And I use that for their, um, what you call it, for their, like, contrasting and, like, you know, just leveling out the color in the pictures or whatever. Sorry, I'm trying to log into my Visco now. Okay. Wait, no, I already have an account. Okay, I'll worry about that later. After I use my Visco app, I, I go into um, Lightroom. And in Lightroom, I even out the picture. So if it's like slanted a little bit or something looks wrong, I, I use it to crop to fit the Instagram. Um, what's it call it? 
dimensions, fifth Instagram dimensions. And then I also sometimes, depending on how I look, I can look a little bloated sometimes. I can look a little fat. I go into this app called Slim and Skinny where I just kind of slim out the parts where I feel like I look a little, you know, round in the area. So most of the time I do slim out my waist a little bit because I do have love handles. And if I'm bloated or have gas or whatever, you know, sometimes you just don't look the best on your best day, you know. So I use that app, but not all the time, just sometimes. Um, so those are the apps that I use, and I'll list them for you below. You can also edit your pictures using your iPhone. iPhone has a lot of editing tools that you can use. If you just click edit at the top, they have the contrasting, they have the cropping, they have the, you know, color, you know, adjusting, all of that. You can use iPhone as well. I've just already gotten used to using all those apps. Um, but I, now that I have this iPhone Pro 12, I might be able to edit my pictures just using my phone. So I might try that out. Luckily for me today, my pictures looked really good that I don't think I need a lot of editing for them. Um, and I was able to pick out some of my faves because they had good lighting. Most of the time I edit because the lighting is off. Like, and that's why I'm trying to start taking more pictures in natural sunlight, catching the golden hour because I like the way it just makes me look. It makes me look so good without a lot of editing. So I'm gonna try to continue to do this, but I'm glad I'm glad you guys came with me today and saw the shenanigans I did. Literally, it took me a few hours to get ready to do my hair and my makeup, but I'm I made it just in time. The sunlight was at a good point when I got to the garage to take my pictures. There was nobody there, so I was comfortable. You know, didn't have to worry about people walking through or cars or whatever. Literally, I was at the top of the garage. There was nobody there, so yeah if you guys have any questions for me if you guys want any reference videos i will put a video down below and how i learned how to edit my videos from this other youtuber asian re i followed her routine on how she edits her pictures and i'll list all the apps that i use below and if you guys check out my amazon store you can see the tripod that i use the phone case that i'm using currently to see myself when i'm taking my pictures it has a mirror on the back um all that, all that jazz will be listed for you below. Just make sure you go ahead and visit it so you guys can see like how to make your own content because you can, you're not always going to have a friend around. You're not always going to have your mom, your dad, your best friend, whoever, your roommate around to be like, hey, can you take my pictures? Because, you know, I, I did have my roommate at one point, but, you know, now that I moved back home, my mom don't like taking my pictures and I'm not about to ask her. So I've learned to take my own pictures. I was practicing when I was living in New York how to take my own pictures and I've gotten pretty good at it. So I recommend you guys start doing that because, yeah, it's it's not that hard. You just have to really just learn, you know, how to use the Bluetooth remote and syncing up with your phone and your tripod and how to set it up so you can get the angle and the, you know, the frame that you want. But, yeah, it's not hard. So thanks, citizens, for joining your girl, you know. Follow me on this journey today. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Please, please, please like this video so I can get my content seen in the YouTube sphere and subscribe. Join my city. Become a loyal citizen because we would love to have you. We would love to have you, okay? And it's your girl. I'm about to go eat my Chipotle and watch YouTube and edit these pictures. And this, this is real. And I'm going to call it a day, okay? I thought I was going to make some TikToks or whatever today, but I'm a little tired. And I don't know if I feel like doing that tonight. So, we'll see. But it's your girl, Sid. Love ya. Bye.